Drummers, welcome to Google Classroom. We've provided everything that you need to be able to practice your drums at home, to be able to continue with your grade studies. I know many of you are working through initial, grade one, grade two, all the way through up to grade eight, and we're providing everything you need to be able to work on that from home. Okay, this video is about how to practice at home. I know many of you, just like me, actually don't have a drum kit at home to practice. That might be because it's too loud for the neighbours, or maybe you just don't have the space. And that is okay. That doesn't mean that you don't have to practice or that you can't practice. I'm going to give you some tips and some tricks on how you can practice at home, still play along with your grade tracks, and still enjoy your drumming. There are going to be a few essential things that you are going to need at home if you're going to practice your drums. Good news is it's not going to cost you very much money to get hold of these and you're going to be able to order them real quick and have them as soon as possible. The first thing is a pair of drumsticks. Okay, You can get these from Amazon, any good music shop, head online, why don't you pop in the order. They're going to cost you about £10 roughly. Uh, there's some great makes out there, Promark like these ones, Vic Firth. Um, why don't you get the size 5A, if you're wondering? They're a real standard size, a real nice weight. I use 5B, they're a little bit heavier, you can get those if you want to, a little bit thicker. Uh, but if you want to use 5A, if you're not sure, 5A is a great size to go for. Drumsticks are essential. Another essential thing you're going to need that's really going to be helpful is something called a metronome or a click. I've downloaded a free app. This one's called Tempo. I've downloaded it on my iPad. You can download it on a phone or any device that you've got. It can be on Android or on the Apple Store. Um, there are lots of different metronomes out there that you can get that are free and they all do essentially the same thing. A metronome gives you a nice and steady pulse that you can play to and you can set it to any speed that you want to. You can choose different sounds. Uh, but why don't you download a metronome app and uh, give that a try, have a play around with it and make sure you've got one of those at home. Something else that you can pick up that's really helpful for around about £12-ish, something like that, uh, right up to the £20 mark, there's a range of prices, uh, but this is a pad, a drum practice pad, it's just a rubber pad. Um, anyone who's kind of DIY out there who can get hold of this kind of rubbery material and a piece of wood you might be able to knock one of these up yourselves. Uh, but these are practice pads, really, really helpful. I put mine on a snare drum stand, but you can put it on a table, uh, any surface that you've got at home, place it down like that. It's nice and quiet, get your sticks, and away you go. Really, really useful. Get hold of a practice pad if you can. But you still might be thinking, I can't practice, I don't have a practice pad, I don't have a drum kit. Well, you can still practice. Make sure you ask someone at home first, but a pillow makes a really good surface for practicing. There's loads of things that you can play on a pillow, but make sure you ask someone at home first before you start hitting the uh, furniture. Taking this homemade DIY drum kit to the next level, again, we need to make sure we're asking people at home before we do this. Do not hold us responsible for any breakages or things like that. It is at your own risk. Parents, make sure you're happy with this first, please, before any damage gets done. However, a pot and pan drum kit is so much fun. You might have even seen people out in Manchester busking with this kind of stuff on the street. It's awesome. Have some fun with it. Even if you've got a real kit at home, a little bit of a, a makeshift, like a junkyard kit if you like, is so much fun. Might be something the parents want to get involved with as well, have a little bit of a jam. However, this makes a really great kit if you have got nothing to use, but people at home are happy for you to hit different things, have a go. It's a lot of fun. Think about your pitch, so think about your high and your low notes, try and set out your kit in the same sort of way. So I've tried to make sure I've got my high pitch over on my left, and then I'm going, a little kind of down the pitch as we go, do, 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 like that, a little bit like a drum kit. So I've set it out that way. I've got my snare drum in the middle. Here we go. Have a 
go.